Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Quick Man series. So today in this video, we are going to see another report type that is coming from the Neyman, which is Neyman Report J unit. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen how to generate the Neyman Reporter HTML. Okay. So the Neyman Reporter has a lot of uh, dependencies. I mean, you have a lot of option to use a different kind of reports. So one is a reporter HTML dependency where we have seen in the previous video. Okay. So now we are going to see about the J unit full. Okay. So there is a one more repository. I mean, one more library which is available for the reporter. Okay. On top of Neumann. So it is going to be a similar to what we have seen on the reporter HTML. So for this, you have to again install this dependency. Okay. So again, it's going to be the same like, so if you want to install as a global, then what you can do, you can simply go for this one. Okay, if you want to go for any particular work directory, I mean folder directory, then you can ignore the hyphen G. Okay, so I'm just copying this. Let's go here and I'm pasting this. Okay, now the installation is started. So let's wait the installation to be completed. Okay, so after this usage, right? So what we have used here, so we were running like a Neiman and we were passing our uh, JSON file path and collection environment JSON file bar, and we are sending the data file also, right? And additionally, we are sending as a hyphen R HTML to generate the report. Either you can use hyphen R or you can use as a hyphen hyphen reporters. Okay. So here also the usage is going to be the same here. So here also we are going to use hyphen R, either hyphen hyphen reporters. Okay. Additionally, what we have to send. So instead of HTML, we have to use it as a J unit here. Okay. So hyphen R J unit. So this is for if you want to export the report in particular location, then you can give this one. Okay. So this is a base command. So new man run, and you have to provide as hyphen R J unit. Okay. And there are I mean uh, some options. So, so only one option we have where you can export the particular I mean your, your J unit report to the particular file path. Okay. So basically this is going to be an XML file. Okay. So here you can see this is getting exported as a XML file XML report. Okay, so let me check. Okay, the installation is done. Okay, so now what we can do? So the command what we have to write. So new man run, and what we have to pass. So let's go to the folder. So on desktop. So this is my collection, right? So we are experimenting this new man collection postman one. So I'm going to copy that file. Okay, so new man collection. Okay, so this is a collection name. I mean, collection file path. So let's copy this. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay, I'm going to send the additionally environment variables also. So the environment variable five is this one. Okay, so again, I'm going to copy that file path. This is my file path for the environment variable. Okay, so now after this, so if you run this, so by default, you will get the new man report, which is coming in the row and column, the table format, correct? So let's write uh, this execution to complete. Yeah, now we can see the execution is started and we can see the results in the table format. Okay, this is a new man default report. So with, since we are going to create a HTML report, this will be override. Okay, you cannot see this table anymore in the your new man terminal. So additionally, what we have to pass here, so hyphen R J unit. Okay, so that is what the command, that is what the, the usage you have to use it here. You can see hyphen R J unit. Okay, so let me use get here. So when you use this, so you will not see this table report in coming in the terminal. Okay, so instead of that, what happens? It will it will go on create one folder called new man. You can see it is just created, which is sixteen twenty four my local man. So let me open this. So now inside this, you can see one XML report is created. Okay, so let me open this report. Okay, so when you open the report, it is coming like this. So what is our test with? So the XML report is similar to what you get in the test engine, right? So in the test engine also, you will get this XML report on Maven also, you can get this, I mean, generate the XML report, right? Similarly, in the new man also, you can do that. So this is a postman, new man collection is a, my collection name and number of tests is one, total time it taken. So what is the, this uh, test week, right? So user creation and this is the ID. And timestamp number of tests we have written zero failures, zero errors. Okay, so this is how we get the basic XML report, which is J unit. Okay, 
So this this J unit report is based on the this particular dependency, which is Neumann reported J unit full. Okay. So it is going to be a similar like what we have seen for the HTML reporter. Okay. So this is reported J unit full. So here also you can you can mention if you want to export the uh, the particular report into a particular folder, that one also we can. So let's go to the Neumann here. Okay. Um, we have something already created for the report, correct? So let me go back to the terminal. So from the terminal, I'm going to click the app arrow. So after this, what we have to use, this is a command we have to use, okay? So hyphen hyphen reporter. Okay, so hyphen hyphen reporter hyphen J unit hyphen export. Okay, so after this, we have to provide the file location. Okay, so file location is the output directory. So this is a location I'm going to export the our XML report. So just paste it here. Okay, and you can if you want to give some name of like a results.xml, right? So if you don't provide them, then by default it will take it as a your your local timestamp. Okay, so now here I can see it is coming as by default as a new man run report, and it is attaching with your particular date and time. So now the report will be placed under this particular folder. Okay. So now let's execute this. Yeah, so now you can see the execution is done now. Okay, so now here you can see this file is got exported in this particular file location. Okay, so if I go back to the new man, so this not will be old. Okay, this is, I mean, this is an older report, older entry. Okay, so whatever the new entry that is going to create, it will create always under the particular this file form. Okay, so this is how we will generate the XML report. So let me open the report. Let's see. Okay, so this is a report. Okay, this is for XML report. Okay, so if at all, if you want to use the, uh, I mean, uh, HTML report, then we can use this, this particular dependence. Okay, so these are most like a basic kind of reports. Okay, so if you want to, I mean, the detailed report, then we can go for the HTML extra report, which I will be covering in my next video. Okay. So that's all about this video. If you guys uh, have any questions or any comments or any, any doubts, uh, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay. Thank you guys.